Good morning, Floss Tube. My name is Crystal, and this is my channel about cross stitch. Uh, today, I am filming a little extra, a stitch with me where I stitch something, grab your coffee, and you're stitching. I've got water, um, and I'm gonna just gonna answer some questions. There are tag questions that I just got off the internet. Today, I'm going to do. Um, Christmas questions. There are 35, so I could probably whip through that. I am going to plug myself in so my battery doesn't die. All right, so the pattern I'm working on today is little, little tiny prairie schooler. Um, Companion to book 182 Reindeer Roundup. I need to get Reindeer Roundup. Um, I don't have that. But I got this as a little kit. So it was the pattern and some cards with floss. It's the called for DMC. And this is where I'm at. And this is the fabric that came with it. I think it's 14 count. I don't know what color. But I've been cruising right along. So we'll see how much I can get done while I answer the questions. Oh, I thought I lost my needle. Okay. I need to slow down. You ever get like that where you're like, Gah. um, okay. How do you celebrate Christmas? Um, I would imagine like everybody else, we, used to do it big. When we lived in Texas, we went to my husband's aunt's house on Christmas Eve and the whole family, and they have a massive family, um, would come. Let me just, let me just pick what color I want to do. Um, the whole family would come and there are a lot of them a lot. Um, the whole family would come and we'd have a big spaghetti dinner. It was really fun. And then Christmas morning, my rule for Christmas morning is we are at our house. The kids wake up in their beds for Christmas morning. That is my rule I started when I had kids in my life. Um, and then in the afternoon we go to we would go to my aunt's house. Well, now that we live here, we don't really do anything on Christmas Eve. And we do Christmas morning. We have cinnamon rolls every morning, every Christmas morning. That's like a tradition. And then we go to my mom's in the afternoon. So that's how we celebrate Christmas. Oh, I, I should say, normally on Christmas Eve, during the day, we go to church. We're not doing that this year because we're not meeting in crowds. So how are you spending this Christmas? This year is going to be different. Um, we're going to be watching service online. We've been watching all of church services online. Um, hold on, I've just got to count to figure out where I'm starting. Yeah, that's right. Um, so we'll watch Christmas service online. They're doing a, a bunch of them this year. I think over the span of two days, just because they know people aren't coming. And Christmas and Easter are the two holidays that people that don't normally come to church would want to come to church. So they're doing extra services, which is nice. Um, and then Christmas morning will be normal. And I don't know yet if we're going to my mom's. That's the plan, but we know how Thanksgiving ended up. We ended up canceling a few days before Thanksgiving. So I don't know. And she keeps saying, you know, I don't know what Christmas is going to look like this year. So we'll see. It's an interesting question. I wonder if this was typed up 
these questions were put out in 2020. <laughs> this year is definitely different. Are you good at buying gifts for others? Yes. It's one of my favorite things to do. I love giving gifts to people. I do tend to go kind of overboard. Um, but I really like to think about the person that I'm buying for and what they might like. Um, yeah. What's your most memorable Christmas memory? Uh, probably the year, um, my mom and dad were still married and my dad got my mom Christmas plates. No, just regular new dishes. And on Christmas, and she opened them Christmas morning. And that afternoon, my grandmother scratched every single one of them. Uh, while washing them. It's not a good memory, but it. my mom and I were just talking about it the other day. Those funny quirks that were annoying at the time. Man, they just, especially once someone passes away, it's just funny. It's just so funny. Um... How did you spend last Christmas? I mean, the way we normally do. On Christmas Eve, what do you leave out for Santa? Cookies and milk, a carrot, and we make reindeer food. What is your favorite Christmas movie? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I have one. We always watch like the traditional things. I really like the Grinch, um, the Santa Claus. I think that one's funny. Yeah, I don't, I think probably the Grinch. I really like the classic ones. What is your favorite Christmas song? Oh, It's by Pentatonics. Hold, please. I, I can't think of it off the top of my head. Oh, Little Drummer Boy by Pentatonics. The way they did that <sighs> gives me goosebumps every single time. So that's my favorite. Um, what do you eat on Christmas Day? I eat whatever my mom makes. Well, we have cinnamon rolls in the morning. And then I eat whatever my mom makes. We had Chinese food one year, and I was very upset. In my mind, you have ham on Christmas, turkey on Thanksgiving. <sighs> my mom doesn't like ham, though, so... Um, do you have any Christmas Eve traditions? Not anymore. We used to go to Philip's aunt's house when we lived in Texas, and that was always a good time. There were so many kids, so many families. He has Ten. Hold on. Five, six, seven. Eight. I think there's eleven in his generation. And everyone has at least two or three kids. Um it's a lot it's a lot. It's a lot of kids. Do you wear Christmas jumpers? If so, show us a picture. This was typed up by somebody that's not from 
the US of A. We do not wear Christmas jumpers. We wear Christmas PJs for Christmas morning. I don't sleep in them because they're always, I get very hot when I sleep. And Christmas jammies are always, they're either tight or they're flannel. So we wear Christmas jammies on Christmas morning. In your culture, what date do you receive gifts? The 25th. Show us your Christmas decorations. I might do that if anyone's interested in that. I can do a walkthrough of our decorations. Do you like eggnog? No. It is disgusting, in my opinion. In my opinion, it is disgusting. Everyone else in my house does. Um... So we always have it, but ugh. I don't know if I've mentioned that. I know I've mentioned this in previous. I am super picky eater. So I don't like milk either. I don't like milk at all. Um, it's thick and gross. And yes, I know I could do skim milk, but then that's just like dirty water. I don't know. Milk is for babies. Again, my opinion. It's interesting to live in such a dairy state and not be a milk drinker. I always get looked at weird. Because when you go to someone's house for dinner, they always pull out the milk jug. Well, thank you. Stick with water. Um, have you ever visited the North Pole? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, but does that sound fun or what? Like, the magical North Pole sounds fun, but so does the real North Pole. Oh, what was your favorite gift you've received on Christmas? Um, probably my KitchenAid mixer. I mean, I'm sure there were things when I was a kid that were my favorite. At the time, you know, Christmas is so much more about the presents for children. We don't really do presents that much um, for Philip and I. But I did receive a KitchenAid mixer one year. I mean... That was a long, like 15 years ago. And it's still kicking. It's still kicking. So that's how far I got with that one strand. Um, have you ever gone Christmas caroling? Yes. We typically go every year. Um, we're not this year. But we usually go to the like senior living facilities and Carol. We started that oh gosh, when Philip and I first started dating. I feel like. Oh my cat is driving me crazy. Here's my cat. Can you say hi? Pardon the unmade bed in the background. Hi! She needs to be where I'm at at all times. Um, have you ever built a gingerbread house? Yes, we do every year. This year... We usually build multiples. We do it with my mom and we do it ourselves, like without her. Um, so I'm sure she'll bring the kids like a regular house. That's what we normally do. This year I got 
the bullseye, you know, bullseye from Target. I got the bullseye dog house gingerbread set. And from Walmart, I got the Mario castle. My kids are going to be so excited. So excited. Try naming all of Santa's reindeer. How many are there? Nine? Donner, Dasher, Cupid, Vixen, Dancer, Prancer, Blitzen, Rudolph. Not in order. And I still did it. Um, I'm pretty impressed with that. Hopefully it's right. <laughs> um, you know when you can feel a knot in the back? There we go. Uh, and then you pull your string out. Let's see. Finish this elf quote. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is... Oh man, I like to take people things, either baked goodies or a bottle of wine or some something. My friends' kids, I like to buy Christmas gifts for my friends' kids and then wrap them and drop them on their doorstep. I like and I like to just drop stuff on doorsteps, not necessarily put my name on it. I think. Sometimes the most exciting thing is just feeling loved and not knowing who from. It's just nice to do for people every once in a while. So we do, I do Christmas goodies, cookies and candies and stuff we bake. Worst present you've ever received. I don't think I've ever gotten a bad present. Ooh. Let me think. Yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten a bad present. Mm -mm. I mean, I'm sure when I was little I got, I hated probably getting clothes as all children do but now I have pretty simple tastes and everybody knows that so really like I love to read so a book any sort of Christmas supplies or Christmas craft supplies um, little tchotchkes for my house. Honestly, so my birthday was, I'm filming this really early. So my birthday was three days ago. And my husband was like, what do you want for your birthday? And I said, I don't need anything for my birthday. I just want Grayson to write me a card in his five-year-old handwriting. I have all of those from Zoe, you know, when she was little and couldn't really write very well. That's my favorite thing to get. Handmade stuff from the kids. Zoe made me last year a an ornament. It's a Rudolph ornament made out of a tiny, a tiny little um, terracotta planter. Upside down, she painted it and added a nose and there's a bell inside. It's really cute. Um, what are some, I can't think of a bad gift. I just think of stuff that I like. Maybe I repressed those memories. 
Um, what is your all-time favorite Christmas food? Hmm. Um. Well, I don't know. It's probably we make peanut clusters, which is like chocolate covered peanuts basically, or toffee. I think my favorite Christmas food is probably um, snacks, like the treats. I love candy canes. Love candy canes. My husband hates them. Um, hot chocolate with a candy cane. I don't know. I don't. I guess because I'm a picky eater, I I only eat a few things for holidays. I guess I don't have one. It's definitely not bread pudding or fruit cake. <sighs> Make a noise to show how excited you are about Christmas. Normally it'd be. Ee! This year is just, it's just different. I think a lot of what gets me in the holiday spirit is being around other people. Going out and Black Friday shopping is my first, my first thing. I love Black Friday shopping. I worked retail. I was a department manager for five years, so... I worked plenty of Black Fridays, um, and I still love Black Friday. I don't, I don't love how people behave on Black Friday, but I love that it's the first. It's like the kickoff of holidays in all the stores. So you've got the music playing, and it smells good. All the twinkly lights. And everyone's so excited. So I, Black Friday usually gets me really excited. Um, putting up our tree usually gets me really excited. This year I'm kind of like, well, I, probably because we didn't do those things. Like I didn't, we didn't go do Black Friday. It doesn't, I guess it doesn't quite feel like it's here yet. I don't know. Maybe I need to go run around the store or something. You know what I think it might be? It might be because every year I go to Bath and Body Works. <clears throat> and I think that that really like kicks off the season for me. So doesn't that sound ridiculous? It's so ridiculous. Um, is your tree real or fake? It is fake. I've probably mentioned numerous times that I have anxiety and um, a lot of irrational fears. One of them is fire. I have no idea why. I am terrified of having a house fire. So having a real tree is probably never in the cards for me. Like we've been drying, we've been using the food dehydrator to dry fruits and they take a long time. They take, you know, 24 hours or so. And every night I make my husband, every time we do it, I make my husband shut it off at night. You back? Um, She just likes her little scratch on her head. <laughs> she's so cute, but she's a pest. You're a pest. Let's go 
find your pickle. She's watching me on the computer. I had a Zoom meeting last night for Bible study, and she was the star of the show. And she's shaking the table. We've been through this. No, you need to get down. We've been through this. What was I talking about? Oh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Irrational fears. Um, so when we do the food dehydrator... Your hair. Shoo. Shoo, cat. Shoo. Um, I get so nervous and I make my husband turn it off at night. You're ridiculous. I call her the desperate house cat. You the desperate house cat? You're spoiled. Okay, moving on. Have you ever built a snowman? Yes. Growing up in Wisconsin? Well, living half my life in Wisconsin? I have definitely built a snowman. They make now whole snowman kit and they make these brick things where you can, you know, like you can do sandcastles at the beach with those little molds. They make snow molds for snow castles now. Why is this Santa going with <laughs> So yes, I've built a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? Who cooks the Christmas meal? Not it. Um, well, I mean, this year I might have to. I'll find out a few days before Christmas. But typically, we go to someone else's house for the Christmas meal. I do Thanksgiving. That's my holiday. Mm, do you prefer giving or receiving gifts? I prefer giving. It is so awkward to receive gifts. I don't know why. I guess when I was little, I loved gifts. What little kid doesn't love getting gifts? Um, but now it just feels so awkward. You don't have to do anything for me. I will say I love receiving Christmas cards. Um, I love receiving Christmas cards. I save them and they're in this box with our Christmas decorations and we go through it every year and it's fun to pull out and like remember like different stages. Friends I don't talk to very often, but I still get a Christmas card and I still send them a Christmas card. Like it's just, I love it. I love doing Christmas cards. What is your favorite thing about Christmas? I love how excited the kids get. I love how exciting it was for me when I was little. Um, I think that's the one thing that it might be one of many things, but it is probably the thing that stands out as I, I don't always agree with what the church church's stance on Christmas is because I understand the reason for the season. I understand Advent. I understand all of it. I, I, I absolutely do. And I'm so grateful for Christmas for what it is. But I'm also, I really enjoy watching children get so excited about something. Even, you know, you know what's up. Even though 
Um, I often hear like that I should be celebrating. That's where I'm at after another strand. That I should be celebrating differently or I shouldn't put so much stock in Christmas. But y'all, watching kids get excited about stuff is part of the joy of life. Like, life can be hard, and not just because of COVID. Like, regular life, especially as an adult, can be rough. So when you have these special moments thrown in, like the Christmas season or Easter, my son still believes Thomas the Train is real. Like... Obviously, trains don't talk. Hope you don't have any children in the room. Trains talk. Trains talk. Trains are real. Thomas is real. Um, watching them just get excited about that is so much fun. And even Zoe, you know, she's 13, so she knows. She knows. She knows what's up. But she still gets excited. Um, and I don't just mean for Santa. I mean for the baking and we do a, a bunch of different Christmas activities. Um, going to look at lights is huge for us. We do that often. Um, just watching them get excited about stuff. And I think also making yearly traditions. It's probably my favorite thing about every season. Um, yeah, that would be my answer, is making traditions. We have Christmas traditions that we do every year. Summer traditions, places we go, fall traditions, spring. Like, just, you know, the other cat has decided it wants to join me. Do you need some time? You say hi. Hi. Hey. She looks angry all the time. Hey, come here. Let me see your face. Let me see your cute face. Doesn't she look angry? She's a mean meanie. Mean meanie. Okay, sit down. Thank you. Um. But yeah, I think because there's so many things that I think about with like my grandparents and stuff we did every year and I'm 30 something years old and I still think of those often. I want my kids to tell their kids about, you know, stuff they did when they were little and have good memories and when they're older they will learn like Zoe already knows you know we've been over this with her they attend private Christian school there's no way they don't you know like they definitely learn that the reason for Christmas is Jesus like they definitely do learn that but they also you know Christmas is just a special time for not necessarily gifts but like doing things together being joyful being grateful for what you know for what we have where we live the people in our life that is a long draw i can sure chat huh <sighs> have you ever celebrated christmas in another culture no I haven't. Um, I would love at some point to do like a Scandinavian. I take that back. Yes, I have. I would love to do like a Scandinavian one, but my stepdad's family is from Croatia. And so they have a big Christmas Eve party. 
and they do it big. <laughs> They're silly. They do some silly things. They wear crowns when they eat dinner. Like, they do those crackers, you know? And there's a crown in every cracker, and so they wear crowns when they eat dinner. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, I haven't been often, but I have been. And it's just... It's a fun time. I think because for me, Christmas is all about tradition and whatnot that I'm okay just doing it in our, our culture. But I would love to do like a Scandinavian Christmas at some point. That sounds fun. What makes Christmas special for you? I mean, I've already said that. that I think the joy with little kids is just, that might be why I go overboard. Um, but it's just so fun to watch and so fun to see them get excited, especially this year when they have missed so many things. You know, us adults are struggling, but those kids are too. What would be your dream place to spend Christmas? Nowhere. At home. Um, there is nothing, in my opinion, that is more magical than the kids waking up in their bed on Christmas morning. Nothing more magical. I think when they're older maybe and they both know what's up. Um, it might be fun to celebrate in like celebrate on a vacation or something. I don't know. I don't know. I've never really considered it. Who are you spending Christmas with this year? It is the four of us. And then possibly my mom and stepdad, possibly my brother and his kids. Um, don't really know. That's who we would normally spend the holiday with. We have a very small family here in Wisconsin. All of my mom's family is in Texas. All of Philip's family is in Texas. So we are definitely Lone Rangers up here. Are you a last minute shopper or are you, or are you organized? This is funny. I start Christmas shopping the day after Christmas. I mean, they're such good deals. And so what I do is the day after Christmas, I start a spreadsheet. All I really do is delete last year's presents and change the date. And anytime I hear them say throughout the year that they really want something, it gets added to the list. And that list is what I buy birthday presents, birthday presents and Christmas presents off of. And anytime I see a really good sale, I buy it. For me, starting in June is really when I start shopping and I buy a present or two with every paycheck. It just, it's helpful. I don't really have to budget for Christmas because I'm not spending an absorbent amount of money each time. What's important with that, though, is to mark off if you've got the item. If you bought it, if it has arrived, and where you have stashed it. <laughs> I hide in multiple places. 
in the Amazon boxes. I need to get wrapping. That's what I should be doing right now is wrapping presents. Um, but yeah, marking where they're at. I have lost many a Christmas presents. Luckily, Grayson's birthday is in March. So if I lose a Christmas present, just save it for his birthday. So I, but I am like that with everything. I am super organized. My life is ran by spreadsheets. Spreadsheets. I just glanced at this last one. It says, what is your Christmas wish? Um, I think my Christmas wish is for everyone to go back to enjoying their lives. Like, for people to find joy in their lives again because they think that that is sorely missing. Um, I think the focus has been so much on what COVID has taken from us. I have a cat eating a tree. Hey! What can I chuck? She's still doing it. I wish I knew how to edit videos together because I would get up. She's licking the Christmas tree. Oh. You're going to throw up flocking. Um, okay, what was I saying? Okay. I think that it's bothering me. Everyone is so focused on what COVID has taken from us. But COVID might not be going away anytime soon. She's still licking the tree. October. Um, she's just looking at me like I'm ridiculous. Hey, there we go. <laughs> that did it. I'm gonna have to go pick up all the stuff I threw. Remotes, a bottle of water. Um, and I wasn't throwing it at her. I was throwing it over her. So she would just get scared and run, which happened finally. Who likes a Christmas tree? Ugh. Um, but yes, we're all super focused on what we've missed out on. And I've been super guilty of it too. But COVID, this might be the way it is for a while. So what's happening in our lives that bring us joy today? So that's, I guess, my wish that everyone would just kind of accept the new state of things and have joy nevertheless. There's still joy to be had at home. I think... I mean, there is, and really that's where our priorities should be anyway, right, in, in our home. Um, but yeah, that people just can kind of remember the, the small little things in life that, now I understand some people have horrible situations, horrible home lives, being stuck at home is not great for them. But for the most part, everyone I know, we're super fortunate to have these great places to be trapped in.
and we have enough food. I don't know. I guess that my wish would be that hearts wouldn't be heavy. My hearts, that hearts wouldn't be as heavy as they have been for the rest of 2020. And that somehow our hearts would just start to be okay with our circumstances. That and that my son would stop dragging all the Legos out at one time. That's it, right? Like world peace and no Legos on the floor. Christmas wish done. <laughs> anyway, that is my last question. <clears throat> Thank you for hanging in. That was a long one. Um, I will be back next week with another one of these. Let me show you where I got to. So far I got almost done. I have the tree trunks, the rest of his arm, and some swirly swirly swirlies to do. These are cute and fast and then I'll finish them up and put them on the tree. But thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.